And welcome once again to the world famous CD929 Big Room. In the Big Room today, Daisy the Great. How are you doing? Hey. We're doing great. Thank you. Excellent. Well, thanks for being here today. Of course. Can we hear a song and then we'll start talking about some stuff? Sure. Yeah, totally. Uh, this song is called Tell Me Have You Been Dancing? I'm not having fun yet Maybe if I could drive I would run away And find a place to enjoy The rest of my time here But how would you know Where to look If you wanted to find me How would you know Where to look if you wanted to find me Tell me, have you been dancing lately? Are you gonna die? Like the beautiful mess you left me When you wasted all my time Will you love me back? Oh, should I stop keeping track? Will you love me back or should I stop? Should I stop? Your body's contagious I wish it were mine Caught up in a fight that December night I wouldn't have left you alone there But how would you know where to look? If you wanted to find me How would you know where to look If you wanted to find me Tell me, have you been dancing lately? Are you gonna die? Like the beautiful mess you left me When you wasted all my time Will you love me back? Should I stop keeping track? Will you love me back or should I stop? Will you love me back or should I stop? Daisy the Great in the CD 92.9 Big Room. So I was just sort of thinking about this. We had a band in the other day mm -hmm. who uh, were more of an electronic band, and they told us when they got here that they spent the prior week working out kind of how to do acoustic versions oh, cool. of their songs. <laughs> and they didn't have to do that. I mean, we can do a full live band, but they, you know, they just chose to, and I thought that was cool. And so now I'm watching you guys, and I'm sort of thinking about the fact that, you know, I'd read that you kind of write, you know, just voices and guitar, or piano, and you kind of start out just playing music with each other. Do you find that one is easier than the other, like a full live band, or is there one you enjoy more? I think um, <laughs> it kind of depends on the song. Uh, a lot of our songs definitely start out with just like melody and lyrics, and I think that in general is just like the core of our natural intuition with songwriting is like making sure that the the melody and the the lyrics really hold up like if you don't have a big band and you don't have a big stage or you don't have you know a big show 
um, and you're just like sitting in a room playing it, is the song still good? Um, so I think we, we generally like to start there, but definitely there are songs where we're playing a new song in our set that, uh, ha- there's no like opportunity for it to be a small song. Like the, when we made it up, we were like, this song is a giant song. We know what the parts are going to be. We know that it's huge. So some songs were like, we're just playing it on a guitar for the purpose of writing, but we know what it's going to be like mm-hmm. later. <laughs> um, so it depends what, what kind of song yeah. it is. Yeah. I mean, we love to like f- fully flesh out a song and then like fully strip it down. The, the thing we kind of live by is like, if this song is like just like has no bells and whistles right and it's like in it's like kind of like most raw stripped down form is it still like a good song (laughs) um yeah i think we like to see how many different ways we can like perform a song uh and we really like to take these opportunities um to do a uh (laughs) just guitar and vocal thing I also think that sometimes it like with all of the like the technical stuff that goes into like setting up a whole band and like being able to hear and things like that like there is something really nice to being in a room and like being able to just like sing and not really worry like if something's too loud or like you know that there's so much um that comes with performing and like listening um that this feels really nice to do Sure, I love that. I mean, just the idea that people have always played music, you right. know, and and the idea that you can just sit down with your guitar and your friend and <laughs> sing some songs, is, and you know, not have to have a, a drummer and a sound guy. With all due respect to sound guys and drummers, right? <laughs> Necessary. We love our drummer and sound guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We also really like to like take a song that is like a. F- originally written as like a guitar vocal song and then make it like not a guitar vocal song at all like I think that that's really like a a lot of times we'll like write a song on piano and then like not use a piano like because I think that you find like new ways to express the song by like not playing it the way that it is originally written oh for sure well and I I like the idea of that too that a a well-written song can be played any number of different ways right exactly good songs a good song (laughs) All right, well, can we hear another good song? Yeah, sure. we're going to invite uh, Nardo out to play guitar on this one. This is Nardo. This is Daisy, great in the big room. <laughs> All right, ready? Cool. I've got sand in my mouth. I don't know what to speak about Whether it's generational or personal misery I'm making plans for the past So I'm losing touch fast I'm so callow, following a shadow of what I'm supposed to be I'm getting all wrapped up in aluminum And if I mount And if I melt, then pour me into the radio, into my shell, into my shell. I'll just sit alone and check my phone till it breaks All I want is somebody to say I'm somebody All I want is somebody to hold me when I work I'm getting all wrapped up in aluminum And if I melt, and if I melt Then for me Into my shell, I'm all wrapped up in a minute. And if I melt, and if I melt, then pour me into the radio. Into my shell, into my shell. I'm stuck in my apartment. I'm turning into my songs. We're naked in the garden, trying to get back to our. Make 
Great and world famous CD 92.9 Big Room. Uh, sold out show tonight at the basement. So <laughs> I had read, uh, y'all met at NYU, mm-hmm. started the band 2016, and I'd read that uh, the band was born from a musical you were writing. It's true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, um, we went to school together. We went to acting school together, and we both wrote music uh, kind of on the side. I think especially going to school, I was like, I love music. I write music. Um, but I also love acting and I love, you know, a bunch of different creative stuff. And is also an artist. Like we, we kind of were very creatively uh, pulled in a lot of directions and ended up going to acting school and luckily went to the same acting school. And then we, we had a project together uh, in third year that really started our like working relationship <laughs> in college. And then right towards the end of college, uh, we started to write a musical together that was about a band and so we wrote this big musical song that was like multi-genre kind of like a rock opera style like giant like eight minute song rhapsody yeah like (laughs) yeah and then um and then we were like okay so and the entire script for the music right we wrote the whole script like a hundred pages long which is so funny we were like stalling on the music so much but then we were like okay well now we we have written the script we've written the big big song now we need to work on the band music and so we started talking and then we were like i have some songs actually that's kind of like my little secret thing I do yeah. <laughs> and I was like I also have some little songs and um, then we were like sitting in we, at the time we only knew how to play like piano and ukulele so we were like sitting in my room <laughs> with a ukulele like singing um, we made a YouTube video I think that day like on my phone of us singing build my home on hollow ground um, and we were just like har- like Ke- Kelly was kind of just like naturally harmonizing to it and we like made this YouTube video that no longer exists on YouTube (laughs) Uh, (laughs) of us singing that song. Uh, And then, yeah, at that point, we were like, this is way more fun. And let's just be a band instead of using a musical as an excuse to be a band. (laughs) After that day, we never touched the musical again. We, like, made up a band name. We're like, the musical is dead. The band is real. (laughs) Our fictional life, we're just going to do a big trick on everyone. Yeah, we really did trick everyone. <laughs> yeah. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's always been like a band like built on friendship and like experimenting and fun and creating. And I think Kelly and I have just always had like an itch to make stuff. Um, yeah. And the way the whole band started, like the way like Nardo joined, like Nardo has been in the band since the beginning, since 2016. And like... We Kelly had written the record player song, and we were like, "Let's submit to the NPR Tiny Desk contest." Like, I know some, I vaguely know some musicians. I'll hit them up. We were like, like, "We vaguely <laughs> know like someone with a desk." That we <laughs> yeah. <can use."> like, <laughs> yeah, we were like, uh, we went into my roommate's room, and we were like, "Can we use your big desk for this?" And then I called Nardo. I was like, "Do you know who I am?" And he was like, "No." And I was like, "Can you come over and like learn this song? And can you bring your drummer friend?" And like, they all like sat there. And we like learned it in an hour and then just made a video and like put it on YouTube 
<laughs> and then we were like, you, do you want to be in a band with us? And they were like, yeah, this is awesome. And then we just started like being like, hey, can we play a show at this place? And they were like, yeah, sure, are you a band? And we were like, mm-hmm. And like, <laughs> we just uh, have been doing that ever since. And yeah. it's been growing and growing. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, we definitely have a band. All right. yeah. we're, we're awesome, I promise. <laughs> Uh, can we hear another song? Of course. Sure. This is a glitter. I paint my face with glitter in the morning light. I've been up all night. I've been up all night. It's just dirt on the kitchen floor, cold as an icebox. Fingernails tap into the radiator home. Yell out loud at an old cereal I'll clean up if anyone will come Take down all the paintings hung up on the wall My room is so much better off if I don't get involved I neglected my plans to prove I would Should've let the sun in, would've done us good I paint my face with glitter in the morning Such a boy, such a wannabe Dressing for the thrill like a pill It's an arm, I guess I'm not a threat Guess I'm not a threat Nighttime lunatic, the milk is turning sour But I'd rather go dancing With a woman in the mirror There's a ringing in my ears I paint my face with glitter in the morning light to sleep in the morning light I stop paint my face with glitter in the morning I play a lullaby I've been up all night put myself to sleep I've been up all night in the morning light I'm just rotten to the core such a force such a glitter in the morning light I feel like a pill it's an honor I guess I'm not a clown with glitter in the morning Great and world famous CD 92.9 Bigger. Now I'm fortunate enough that I got to see y'all play at Wonder Bus Fest last year. Yeah. And then the after party that you guys played so graciously played here <laughs> that uh, that night. Um, if if for those of us who haven't seen Daisy the Great, what can we expect from from a live show? Lots of explosions. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely Fire. Yeah. <laughs> Aliens, Pyrotechnics. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pyrotechnics in a 300 cap room. Ghosts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so our show, well, this is our first headlining tour ever. So we luckily, uh, when we were here last time, we had a smaller band with us. We had only four of us. Um, and also the show here was so fun. It was like, we made up a song. Awesome. We were really loopy because it was like, we started, I think at like 1 a.m. Yeah. And we were just like, whoa, we're and really we tired. already played <laughs> that day. <laughs> yeah. Um, but so our, our, our headlining tour has all six of us on stage. We definitely like to play with like a lot of dynamics in the set. So there's a lot of very big moments, a lot of very small moments. Um, and hopefully yeah. it tells like a story. 
uh, and it should be very fun. Yeah, we're really definitely riding high right now because we we played our first show yesterday for the tour, which yeah. was awesome. And then today we're super excited to be back in Columbus, and the show's sold out. So I feel like we're we're gonna be very happy at we're the like, show. <laughs> so yeah. excited! We're gonna be shivering. Yeah, you can expect like awesome outfits. Right. Like we're, we were deciding pretty, our looks. Yeah, we were talking backstage about backstage here. I wore cowboy boots last night, so maybe I'll wear them again tonight but yeah I've, i'm still deciding on what to wear maybe like a really big dress right um but yeah you can expect <laughs> us to look really cool <laughs> now, I'm, now i'm thinking about david byrne wearing that huge yeah suit that's clearly way too big for yeah him. i mean i want to wear that obviously <laughs> <laughs> my goal is like to look like a giant clown on the stage so but not in a scary way uh, in a cool fair. way <laughs> Understated and cool. Understated clown. <laughs> That's awesome. Sold out show tonight. Uh, that is awesome. Um, well, can we hear one more song and we'll cut you guys loose? Sure. Of course. All right. We were going to play yeah. the record player song. Cool. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Sing along if you know it. <laughs> I've got a record player that was made in 2014 That my hair blew, it came out a sweet six sort of green I like vintage dresses when they fall just below my knees I pretend I scraped them, climbing in the sun Sometimes I think all I'm ever doing is trying to convince myself I'm alive Sometimes I think all I'm ever doing is trying to convince myself I'm alive change of pace, I'm sorry Sometimes I don't recognize my face I've got a record player that was made in 2014 That my hair blue, it came out of C6 sort of green I like vintage dresses when they fall Just below my knees, I pretend I scraped them Climbing in the sun Sometimes I think all I'm ever doing is Trying to convince myself I'm alive Sometimes I think all I'm ever doing is trying to convince myself I'm alive I need a dictionary, someone look me up and define me Please remind me who I'm supposed to be around you So you will do what I want you to I'm always winning the wrong Was made in 2014 that my hair blue It came out of seasick sort of green I like vintage dresses when they fall Just below my knees I pretend I scraped them Climbing in the sun Sometimes I think all I'm ever doing Is trying to convince myself I'm alive Sometimes I think all I'm ever doing Is trying to convince myself I'm alive Sometimes I think all I'm made in 2014 that my hair I like to dress this 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 Daisy the Great in the CD929 Big Room. Sold out show tonight at the basement. Thank you so much for being here. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Us. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll return things to Control Central.